Hi there everybody. So a lot of you may have noticed that I've not been uploading very much recently and I wanted to have an honest chat as to why that is. Um, the reason for that is because if I'm honest um, I was in a relationship from June this year until unfortunately the end of September which means that I've now actually been back single again since the end of September and it's now the 6th of November which was already a difficult month for me anyway because on the 9th of November 2010 my previous relationship that I had been in um, that I was in for a lot longer for 20 months ended so this time of year isn't necessarily great for me anyway because I have now had both relationships with men that I was in love with end um, and obviously this has had an effect on my mental health and to a degree on my physical health meaning that I haven't necessarily been the best person that I can be um, not necessarily the greatest friend to be around um, I have been letting people down um, I haven't been found in any enjoyment in things that I do I still do my crochet and um, other art related stuff but I'm not necessarily saying that I find any enjoyment in that um, depression is something that I've lived it with in the knowledge of knowing that I've had since I was 15 years old and um, that was through being bullied in school and yeah, obviously throughout my life in various ways I've been being bullied in other ways uh, as I've got older um, bullied by authorities into um, agreeing to things that I don't actually agree with um, things haven't necessarily gone very well in my life um, how I would have liked them to I have had jobs even at various points in my life but um, my mental illness always ends up rearing its ugly head and um, there will be disagreements between myself and the other parties involved in the ending of my relationship as to why it ended. Um, obviously from my side of things I don't feel I was doing anything wrong in the relationship I was trying to be there for my partner um, yes I was in love with him I don't know if I still am in love with him or not I'm not really sure of all the feelings that I'm having and um, making this video this honest video about how I've been feeling there's been a few points that I've had a breakdown which means that I haven't been able to support other people completely as I would like to. Um, the qualifications that I got, some of them that I've got, I have been qualified in peer mentoring. But uh, obviously because I have the lived experience of um, depression and anxiety and I have had panic attacks, in the past which is different to a breakdown. A breakdown um, it can be similar you have the um, like crying and stuff like that but I don't hyperventilate and things like that when I'm having a breakdown as opposed to when I'm having a panic attack. Panic attacks can be very disorientating um, you hyperventilate as I've said um, depression for me can come out in um, bad thoughts um, feelings of wanting to harm myself um, which I haven't done but um, 
obviously the bad thoughts try to convince me that I yeah I'm no good to anyone and near yeah, things like that and that nothing that I do is good enough which obviously these thoughts have materialised in the last couple of months or so from my relationship having been ended and as I said um, the other parties that were involved in this are not going to agree that I didn't do anything wrong from their point of view um, I was being in um, things that are part of my mental illness but I don't feel that I was being those things and they do um, from my side of things when I'm in a relationship with somebody I'm completely committed to that person want to spend time with them um, like alone right um, if you're in a relationship with somebody you want to spend time with that person without anyone else around you want to be able to talk to them communicate with them if there's something wrong um, perhaps I was too much um, in the relationship I don't know one of the things that you can end up doing when you have mental illness is blaming yourself even if you've not the one who's done anything wrong so I wanted to have this honest chat to explain that with everything that I've gone through in my life and then finally finding someone that made me happy because I was genuinely happy despite the niggles that I may have had in the relationship none of those niggles were directly about the man that I was with they were kind of indirect things because we were supposed to be in a committed relationship and you know, some of the time it felt more like he was committed more to other people and other things than being in a relationship with me perhaps he wasn't actually ready to get into a relationship with me um so I don't understand from my perspective why he got into a relationship with me if he wasn't actually ready for that um this is not a rant um I'm not attacking him he said that he felt the same way about me um obviously materializing one way or another that something that he feels and other people that are part of his life feel I was doing something wrong I was becoming too much for the relationship or whatever so obviously I've ended up feeling like maybe I was responsible when I've been thinking about it one of the things that people do when they have depression and anxiety is end up thinking and overthinking things and constantly being worried about what ultimately has ended up happening that it's going to happen throughout the relationship there were times that I thought that he was going to end it because I was being in particular ways in the relationship and constantly worrying that it was going to be over so obviously um, four months down the line the relationship has been ended um, he feels that he's the one who ended it um, from my perspective from the um, communication that I had he didn't directly end the relationship